here's the history of animation in under six minutes, and I sample these videos from Ramon Daniel and Kiwi Crate. Sometimes it feels to me like every conversation in art comes back to the Lascaux Caves, which is one of the earliest examples that we know of of people trying to make art. So these date to 17,000 BCE and are located in France. Amongst the artwork there are a number of animal drawings, including what some believe are one of the first attempts at trying to make animation. Someone has isolated just the outlines of these three heads and then shows how they believe the artist was trying to make the animal move by depicting all three at once. Now we'll move forward to a mere 3,000 years BCE, and here is a bowl. Um, it, it shows a sheep or a goat leaping created in the Bronze Age. And here we have the original steam artist, Da Vinci, implying motion in the Vitruvian Man, a thaumatrope. It involves drawing two pictures, one on each side, to reveal something like a bird in a cage and outside of a cage. In 1831, there was the Fenachistoscope, and yes, I definitely had to look up how to pronounce that, um, which is a spinning disc and you have to look in the mirror to make the motion happen. Next up is the kineograph or flip book, which works really well on a pad of post-it notes. Here's a zoetrope and um, it was about the, as close as you could get to watching a motion picture back in 1879. Okay, so then Thomas Edison invents this gigantic machine, which takes a bunch of photos and records Fred Ott's sneeze, which is essentially the first GIF, but really was the first motion picture. Um, and you can see it's made up of a series of photographs. Something kind of interesting is that as long as mo motion pictures have been around, people have been interested in creating special effects. So here's the sculptor's nightmare, a stop motion claymation from 1908. Next up we have 1914, Felix the Cat, the first widely rec recognized animated character. And if you're not an animation buff, this might be the first thing that's really recognizable to you. 1928, um, Steamboat Willie, first animation with sound printed onto the film. Then along comes Looney Tunes. And this period is often referred to as the golden age of animation, although you might be living in what could rival it as a golden age of animation. Snow White is an example of where Disney used rotoscoping, so they had a dancer perform and then they took um, individual frames of the film of her performing and drew over the top of it. All right, so the Flintstones and Yogi Bear and things called limited animation. They would keep the body still, but they would only move the head. And that's why they were often wearing like neckties and things like that. So in these clips, watch it how the body stay still and only the head moves. So that saved on the labor of having to animate. In 1963, Jason and the Argonauts was released. This was a Ray Harryhausen film, and it took three months to stop motion film these skeletons for this battle, but it led to a lot of films that you probably have heard about, like King Kong um, and Star Wars. So George Lucas says that without this film, Star Wars would have never happened. Now for the first fully CGI animated film, The Adventures of Andre and Wally B. Um, I'm gonna pause it there because it doesn't get much better. If you've ever seen Wallace and Gromit, that is a kind of stop motion claymation that's very popular and uses plasticine. In 1994, Tim Burton used stop motion claymation for Nightmare Before Christmas. 1995's Toy Story was the first fully computer animated movie. The Lego movies were made to look like stop motion animation, but they were actually computer generated animation. When it comes to animation, big names are of course like Disney and Pixar. 
You might have heard of Studio Ghibli from Japan. Um, but another one is Laika, which is one of the key players in making sure that stop motion animation continues in films because it is so time intensive. But one of the ways that they are using steam to perpetuate stop motion animation film is through 3D printing. Some might call mad. What some might call magic. You're just in time for supper, dear. <sighs> Can't you be like other kids your age? Oh, baby. <laughs> what 